Found a lot of blindness. So pregnancy and fasting, scholars differ as that. Do you look at it as like Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas basically said she is like Aladina Yutaikunu, she is like somebody who cannot fast and then she doesn't. And some people says it's according to the ability. This is what I tell my patients. You divide it according to three things. Is she a healthy pregnancy, healthy woman, and a healthy baby? The answer is try. I never say don't. And I never say, yes, for sure you can. People are different. And even if it's a completely healthy pregnancy, people are different. And I say, listen, it's a rukhsa from Allah. It's a permission. Try it and see. If there is any possibility of difficulty, I'm not talking about harm. Talk about difficulty. She gets dizzy. She cannot function. Then you know what? Take the rukhsa. Take the permission. In Allah, yuhibbu an tu'ta rukhsa kama yuhibbu an tu'ta azaima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that we Muslims take the permissions like fasting, not fasting and travel, the same way he likes us to take his orders and obligations. So that's the case if she's completely healthy. If she is not healthy, there's a complication, high risk pregnancy, case by case. There is few cases where I said, nope, you cannot fast. For example, if she's vomiting all the time. For example, if it's a, we call it IUGR, the baby is very small, it's not growing, she's not gaining weight. And if she starts fasting and starts losing weight, that's when she stops fasting. So it's case by case, but it's not categorically yes, and it's not categorically no.